virtual wire. Today I want to show you quick lab how to build a virtual wire. Virtual wire is one of the options how you can deploy a Palo Alto firewall into your network. It's a, one of the options where you can slot the firewall into your network infrastructure without actually changing any IP addressing, configuring any, uh, any new subnets and redesigning all your network. You, can, you don't have the full functionality of the firewall, but it's a good stepping stone for implementation of the Palo Alto firewall. If we quickly have a look at the virtual wire, this is the picture you get from all the Palo Alto documentation where you can sort of slot the pair of the firewalls into your infrastructure, and then you can use a Palo Alto firewall to do app ID, content ID, user ID, SSO decryption, and also, also NAT. Uh, Palo Alto files, when you slow them as a virtual wire, they can also they also call it a bump in the wire. They are not presented with IP addresses. They don't even present IP addresses to, uh, sorry, they don't even present a MAC addresses to its neighbors. So when the device, for example, in this picture, the switch will communicate directly with, uh, with the firewall here in the picture, just going through the Palo Alto firewall without those two devices knowing that there is anything in a, in a path. Let's quickly get remove the picture and I will show you show you my lab for today. So for the today the basic lab is I have the Palo Alto firewall which will act as the virtual wire between those two routers. We can see those two routers are on the same subnet 10.0.0 slash 24 router 8 is 8 ramp router 9 is dot 9 and after we finish this lab I should be able to telnet or ping between those two routers without configuring any IP addresses on this on this Palo Alto firewall. I have my management uh, station which uh, manage the firewall to the grid and we will configure the uh, Ethernet 1 slash 1 and 1 slash 2 for the virtual wire. Even you configuring the virtual wire you're still configuring the zones for on a Palo Alto firewalls. I will configure it as a LAN or WAN or something similar just so uh, just for the reference. So let's quickly check uh, if I'm on the router 8, I try to ping the router 9. Let's have a look. It doesn't respond. This is what I was expecting it to respond. Let's then go and jump onto the firewall. So this is our firewall in question. All the virtual wire configuration is under the network section. So let's quickly go to the network section. Let's have a look at the interfaces. We can see inter interface one slash one and one slash two are greens mean connecting one slash one, one slash two, exactly as it's in the lab. So let's start with the zones. Let's create the zones. Let's add the first zone. Let's go. LAN it will be virtual wire zone so I've created a LAN I said it will be virtual wire let's create that second zone for the second interface just to be original I will call it a VAN again I create the virtual wire If you don't configure straight away the virtual wire, you can all change it there and later in a in a configuration. That's not a problem. So we have the we have the zones now. Let's go and configure the virtual wire. You're configuring the bump in a wire. You just need to give it a name in a case you have more than one on your on your configuration. Uh, and I will call it uh, virtual wire underscore one. I click OK and go back to the interfaces. OK. Interface type is virtual wire. Uh, virtual wire, uh, which is and security zone is when. Good stuff. Profile. Click OK. Uh, we do the same for Ethernet 1 slash 2. That will be same, just the security zone will be LAN.
virtual wire virtual wire uh, virtual. and security zone will be LAN. LAN. now now we have the virtual wire configured there is still one important bit to do you still need to configure the access list to permit the traffic from one side to another so if we go to policies uh, as you can see uh, there's a default only one that configures but the file was completely blank so i click add and we do as a virtual wire source uh, we give it a source zone LAN uh, destination man just specifying the source zone and destination zone uh, nothing else application any any application deal for action hello click OK that should be it I will now just commit the configuration and let's wait for the commit to finish and then we'll try the communication between router 8 and router 9 ah, commit has completed so let's go and check the router 8 and communication towards router 9 uh, close the window go back to the router 8 pink pink is working great stuff I'd also try telnet and do zero, do zero. zero. Ah, sorry. That's nine. Ah, and we are on the router now. So now we have the communication. If we go back to our lab, now we have a communication between router eight and router nine. So the Palo Alto firewall, firewall which is configured as a virtual wire. Uh, without configuring any IP addresses on the file, we still had to configure the access list, we had to configure the virtual wire, the zones and the interfaces assigned to the zones for the communication to flow through, through the Palo Alto file. One more thing on the end, let's have a look at the monitor. We should be able to see the traffic here. Yeah, we can see uh, pink and telnet exactly as we did it. Few minutes, a few few minutes ago. So, Ben, thanks for watching, and I hope so. I see you next time. Hit the like button and subscribe. Thanks.